Now, next question is also a case study from module C that is HRM and is based on compa ratio. Now, this is a very important concept from HRM. So, do watch this case study really well. Now, let's suppose our market comparison salaries per year for a retail manager are those as per this table. Now, friends, this market comparison salary chart is given to you. That is, these are the salaries which is given by the industry to retail managers per year. Now, if there are three actual retail managers, that is A, B and C, who earns $89,000, $102,000 and $118,000 per year, then answer next five questions based on data given. And the first question of our case study is, what is market range midpoint? And these options are given to you. Friends, market midpoint will be average of highest and lowest salary which is paid by the market for the position of retail manager. And as you can see, the lowest salary which is given in the market is 80500 and highest salary which is given at present is $120,300. So when you average this, you will get 80500 plus 120300 divided by 2 equals $100,400. So the correct answer for the given question is option D. Now friends, before moving ahead, don't forget to get your CIB Master's Pack, which is a pack of four books. These first two are secret source books, which are in fact summarized notes. And these last two are question banks of ABM and BFM respectively. You can also get individual books as per your needs. All the links are there in description to this video, so don't miss out on these. Friends, you can also get Retail Banking 1000 series, which contains chapter-wise questions and detailed case studies. Get your copies today itself by clicking the links in the description. Lastly, always get updated editions since I update all these question banks after every 6 months, that is after exams. Let's move forward with our lecture. Next question is, which of the retail managers has the highest compa ratio? And these options are given to you. Now friends, compa ratio, which is in fact short for comparison ratio, is a comparison of salary you are paying to your employees versus the market midpoint for similar positions at other companies. So compa ratio is a very useful metric to have when setting salary levels or negotiating raises. And it also helps you to avoid losing talent to other companies. Now the formula to calculate compa ratio is simply compa ratio equals Salary you are paying divided by market range midpoint multiplied by 100. So as you can see, it is calculated in percentage. So in the given case study, the compa ratios of all the three retail managers will be. So first is compa ratio of manager A will be 89,000 divided by 100,400 multiplied by 100. Now please note, we have already calculated market range midpoint in previous question. So we are using that here. Then second is compa ratio of manager B, which equals $102,000 divided by 100,400 multiplied by 100, which equals 101.59%. And lastly, compa ratio for manager C will be $118,000 divided by 100,400 multiplied by 100 equals 117.53%. So as you can see, manager C has highest compa ratio. Thus the correct option for the given question is option C. The next question of our case study is, which of the manager is getting salary above market rate? And these options are given to you. Now friends, we can interpret compa ratio as per this chart. That is, if compa ratio is less than 100%, then this means that you are paying below market rate. And if compa ratio is exactly 100%, then you are paying at par of market rate. And if compa ratio is greater than 100%, then you are paying above market rate. So with respect to this question, you can see that, Compa ratio of both managers B and C are 101.59% and 117.53% respectively. So both are getting their salaries above market rate. Thus the correct option for the given question is option D. Now friends, before moving ahead, please note case studies plays very important role in clearing CIB. Most often candidates who are stuck in this paper often fails to crack the case studies in examination. So if you haven't enrolled into my extensive BFM case studies course, then enroll it today itself. As this course may be the difference between your passing and failing in BFM paper. The format of each lecture is that I will first make you grasp the theoretical concept of case study and then we will solve a detailed case study. Just for example, if the case study covers gap analysis, then first we will cover the theoretical aspect of gap analysis and then we will solve the detailed case study with respect to gap analysis. 
so friends even if you haven't finished your textbooks even then you can easily grasp the concept all the links to join my bfm case studies class is there in description to this video so do join it today itself next question is which of the following managers can be classified as fully competent performers performing the job as defined and these options are given to you now friends there are another interpretation of compa ratio which is different from that of what we saw in previous question so in this interpretation there are usually five zones of compa ratio and each of these zone is associated with a predefined level of performance now a commonly accepted range of compa ratios is 80% to 120 which is divided into five zones first is 80 to 87% which defines the candidates that are new inexperienced or unsatisfactory performed incumbents then second is 88 to 95% this includes those who are gaining experience but not yet fully competent in the job the next is 96 to 103% this means fully competent performers performing the job as defined the next is 104 to 111% this includes those consistently performing the job at a level higher than what the job definition requires and lastly we have 112 to 120% This includes those who are universally recognized as outstanding performers both inside and outside the organization. Now friends with this I hope you can easily answer this question. So as you can see manager B with a compa ratio 101.59% falls in this range. So he is the one who is fully competent and performing his job as defined. That's the correct option for the given question is option B. And the last question of this case study is which of the below retail manager has highest probability of leaving his job friends i hope with all these previous discussions you can answer this question pretty well now the correct answer to the question is option a that is manager a has highest probability of leaving his job now can you answer why well as you can see his compa ratio is 88.65% which is less than 100% so he is getting less than market rate Thus, the chances are there that he may leave his job after getting some experience if his salary is not increased. So, the correct option for the given question is option A. Friends, I hope the case study is clear to you. Do comment if you face any issue in any question.